<laughs> Thanks again for recommending that show. Glad you liked it. Uh, not just the paintings, which were amazing, but the company as well. I've always been drawn to Callahan's work. I can see why. And the stark images on water, beautiful. Sensual and dreamlike, yet somehow unsettling. I can never imagine my artwork being displayed like that. It, it, it just blows my mind. Why not? Because I'm nowhere near Callahan's level. Well, that's the beauty of art. They're completely subjective. There's no reason why your work shouldn't share the same wall space. <laughs> hey, maybe one day soon it will. Oh, please give me a break. Something incredibly lame in here, and I, I couldn't help myself, couldn't help myself. Well, I hope whatever it is gets less lame. Me too, buddy. Me too. Excuse me. I have to see to a patient. Okay. What? You weren't supposed to notice you eavesdropping? Oh, come on, the guy was using take-up lines that I'm sure Patrick has abandoned since high school. <laughs> since what? high school. Yes. Come on, what was so terrible about our conversation? It wasn't terrible, it was just transparent. The guy knows you like art, so all of a sudden he's like the art expert. I mean, you do know he's a painter. He happens to know a lot about art. It's sensual and dreamlike. I mean, if that's not a transparent come on, I don't know what is. It's not a come on. Wait, oh, whatever. Whatever. What is your problem? I don't have a problem, but you have a serious issue with, like, denial right now. Don't tell me you're jealous. I'm more jealous of you and than I am of that mystery guy that saved you on the beach. Hmm. Well, actually, you did admit to being a little, little jealous of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It was the whole washboard ab thing. I'm a little sensitive. But look, that's totally different. How so? <laughs> Ewan was treating you, and now he's dating you. Okay, doesn't that seem a little unprofessional? <laughs> okay, first of all, we're not dating. Second of all, I checked myself out of Shady Book before we even had a session, so there's nothing, there's no ethical dilemma. He's just an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. I had a nice time with. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you say so. Well, you're the one who said so. What? What? You told me to move on from Lucky, and now that I'm actually trying to, you have a problem with it. I just have a problem if you get hurt. That's all. Oh, I'm gonna be fine. Uh, that's patient on seven. Oh, I'm headed that way. You wanna take the stairs? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're gonna have to wear a lot more heels if you're gonna be dating them. I'm not dating him. It's for you to step it up with Elizabeth so she stays away from Matt. Well, if you decide to change your mind, my door's always open. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Aren't you a little bit embarrassed? Why would I be? You really gotta stop with this personal vendetta against the Me? You're the one who made it personal when you gave her my birthday present. Because you were being impossible, kind of like you are right now. What do you expect me to do, Matt? I expect you to listen to me, and when I tell you that nothing is going on, you trust me. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I can't believe that you're bringing that up right now because I know that this is not all in my head. I mean, I see the way that you look at her. You can't even take your eyes off of her last night. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Last night, that was because of Keenan, okay? Oh, uh, is that supposed to make me feel better? The, the guy is supposed to be treating her at Shady Brook, and now he's, he's, he's treating her to dinner. So? So it's inappropriate. Oh, my gosh. Who cares? The, the guy rubs me the wrong way. You're jealous. I'm concerned. Because you want her. Because she's my friend. Oh, my God. Why can't you just own up to it for once? You want honesty? I can't do this anymore. You're breaking up with me.